Some of these videos could be real and some of them not, but all of them have one thing in common. They are too scary for you to handle. Number 12. A YouTuber named Baker X Derek takes a break from biking to explore an abandoned house that's said to be haunted. At the top of a steep and cracked driveway is a backyard area littered with trash and a makeshift entrance kicked into the wall. It looks like a pretty normal abandoned house until a dark, narrow hallway makes him hesitant to explore further. Derek forces himself to investigate the hallway and this weird spot of mysterious light. Maybe a ghost is what he finds at the end of a dark room. There's nothing else for it to be, and no reason for it to be there. And yet here the strange anomaly is. He doesn't see anything else until he goes to explore the equally dark and creepy basement. He stays close to the wall and doesn't go far into the room. A wise choice based on what happens next. He is squinting into the darkness when something happens that's too scary for him to handle. Somebody, I think I hear something. A scary noise right next to him sends him running back to his bike to peel away and never return. I don't think this was a skit because there was absolutely nobody else with him. He was exploring the abandoned house all alone. Number 11. This alleged ghost sighting caught on video is rumored to have been taken on a CCTV system overlooking a native reservation in Quebec City. At first, it looks more like bright light at the top of the screen than a person, but then it briefly takes the shape of a human as it passes through the courtyard, soon dematerializing into nothing more than an outline that flutters away. The 22nd mark is when you can see at the clearest, a possible ghost looking at the camera, one with long dark hair, a long dress, and a spidery arm that almost touches the ground. Number 10. A man works at a haunted building where footsteps, moans, and other ghost noises are fairly commonplace. One night he is the last to leave. He hears some ghost noises throughout the empty building and gets on Snapchat to document the encounter for paranormal evidence. All of the rooms look empty until he turns around and sees a ghost in the hallway that he was just in. A ghost behind the window of a locked office to be exact, or so he claims. He runs out of the building before he can get another look, but as far as I can tell, that looks like somebody has their back turned and their hood up to me, not a shadow figure or a ghost. Assuming this is not scripted, then maybe it's an intruder who's after expensive office equipment, or even someone who has been secretly living here. Number 9. This eerie video was taken in 2008 when YouTube was new and asking someone what they were doing was considered interesting content. That's exactly what this video appears to be and nothing more. That is, until you look a bit closer. Hello. What are you doing? Hello. 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 What they claim is a ghostly apparition appears in their window and glides past. It's pitch black outside and yet somehow the outline of a mysterious figure is visible. If they live in the city, then this could just be someone walking down the street for all we know. But if they had a private yard in a quiet neighborhood, then yeah, this is a really creepy video. Number 8. Olga is waiting to be wheeled into the operation room when she sees something that makes her think she's in a haunted hospital, a claim which she can back up with paranormal evidence caught on her phone camera. Her cup of water is moving all by itself like a ghost pushes it, or as she suspects, possibly her guardian angel. I don't know about you, but I would take no comfort in a cup moving all by itself moments before getting surgery. Anyway. I've seen videos where a cup moves by itself after the bottom of the glass gets wet through condensation. However, there are no water droplets on the outside of the glass to indicate condensation has occurred here, nor is there a trail of water behind the cup. Her table looks dry to me, and for this reason, I agree something paranormal could be pushing the cup. Number 7. A YouTuber named Marcus Green and his friend Sarah go exploring abandoned houses near the woods, completely unaware that their paranormal investigation is about to go wrong. 
Through the window, they find this kid's duck toy has been left here all by itself. Its back is a little burnt. They also find an abandoned nursery home with an old crib and a floor full of abandoned possessions. There's one room left to explore, but apparently that's when a ghost lets Marcus know that this area of the abandoned house is off limits. If anyone's fallen, it's me. Actually, I take that back. Oh. What? Why did that just stop? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! They've been laughing and joking this entire time. So Sarah doesn't entirely believe him when Marcus tells her that the door won't open again. It only opens halfway like someone is pressing against the other side. And at 6 minutes and 14 seconds, the door actually starts to push back closed and he runs. He's nowhere near the door when it happens. And if it was furniture blocking the other side, then that doesn't explain why the door stops for a moment before closing. Number 6. A man thinks he has caught a ghost on camera while recording the steps of his haunted home. Watch closely and you'll see a strange shadow moving from one door to the other before vanishing. The shadowy figure is too dark to be dust and almost looks like feet walking across the carpet. When the man goes downstairs to investigate, he finds nothing is there and maybe nothing ever was. Number 5. This 2011 video was taken on a regular phone camera in India. It's 6 in the morning and this alleyway is always empty. Yet a mysterious shadow keeps moving past the front door. <coughs> to make this video even creepier, a crow calls out to no one the whole time. I was thinking the shadow could have been the crow from above, but it doesn't look like the shape of a bird's. Crows tend to cry out when something they don't like is near, which this one definitely seems to be doing. At 1 minute and 6 seconds, it looks like the shadow figure reaches down to try and test the locks. Tell me what you think is going on here, because I think, ghost or otherwise, something is definitely trying to find its way in. Number 4. Phil LaGioia decides to take on the Candyman challenge based on the 90s horror flick of the same name. You're supposed to recite his name three times in a row and then you will have a sighting of him. The man with a hook for a hand, usually in the mirror, as the legend goes. Candyman? Candyman? Candyman. It's too dark for Phil to have a sighting, but the drawer does open while he is standing completely still. And it's followed by two more scary banging noises, a sign that Candyman is near. Something about his home feels different now, a change in air pressure, like a presence is now with him. He goes outside and three ghost orbs follow him. Let's see here. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? An orb appears every time he says hello. He doesn't really see anything else out of place, but he knows that something is near. So Phil creeps up on the mirror for one last look, and that's when he sees it. Oh, you guys see that go across my camera? Man. What the f it's hard to see, but play in slow motion and you'll see the shadowy figure of the candy man looking at him through the mirror. He is standing behind Phil and is slightly shorter. Then again, this could just be Phil's own shadow cast behind him by the light in the mirror. Do you think this paranormal encounter is real, or is this paranormal investigator likely afraid of their own shadow? To be fair though, if I saw that shadow behind me, I wouldn't stay there either. Number 3. A kid making a funny face is overshadowed by a creepy figure levitating behind him with its head down. This picture is actually 7 years old and Reddit still argues about whether this is a ghost sighting or not. Plenty of people see a ghost girl wearing a grey dress who looks to be going into the next room. However, another theory is that a stuffed toy was being thrown behind the boy and its movement through the air is what creates its strange motion blur. 
Another explanation is that this was a woman throwing her jacket on in the background. According to the uploader, this house is haunted and mysterious figures are seen here all of the time, along with scary noises and other strange happenings. With that said, I tend to believe this paranormal explanation the most, because when you look under the figure, you'll see they cast no reflection on the wood grain floor. Number 2. Omar Menz goes to an abandoned house for a paranormal investigation at 3 a.m. There's no one else around for miles, but he and his friend are sure that someone is in the house with them. They can sense it. Around the corner on the top floor, they eventually find two strangers in black robes bowing before a candle in a silent ritual. The two strange men are apparently so wrapped up in their supernatural summoning that they don't notice Omar's spying until they accidentally make a noise and go running into the night. So here's the weird thing. At 12.50, Omar clearly shines his light directly into the room, but the evil is so thick that no light can pass through. What is going on here? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. I stumbled across this eerie video on Reddit that I wanted to get your opinion on. Yo, what the f man? What the f First, a phantom streak of light runs parallel with this person's shoulder. He goes to point it out to the camera, and then this shit, what the f it briefly attaches itself to his finger and flies off. He tries to make it happen once more, but strangely, he cannot duplicate the light, which makes this a possible ghost sighting. And when you look at this image at 6 seconds, it kind of looks like a ghost with outstretched ethereal arms. Now that's just terrifying. If you are alone, be careful watching this video, because that means there's nobody nearby to hear your screams.